Hello Scale Modelers from YouTube, and welcome to my channel. This is the final reveal of my build, for the 2022 Pro Street Group build, hosted by Dylan, from NYS Modeling. If you remember my last videos, I'm building the 1966 Chevy Nova Pro Street, from AMT, number 636, in 125th scale. And in this final reveal, I will share with you the way I built the car kit for the 2022 Pro Street Group build. So, I started by building the engine, and the engine stand that comes with the kit. For the engine stand, I painted it red with the wheels silver and black. The engine, on this stand, was painted aluminum, and I used the Tamiya panel line accent color, to blackwash these items, and give them some more realism. I painted the engine block orange, with the oil pan gold. In this phase, the transmission was still painted silver, but to have a deeper contrast with the chassis that was painted gloss aluminum, I repainted it with magnesium. The cylinder heads were painted aluminum. The fan, as well as the custom valve covers, were painted semi-gloss black, instead of the original chrome. The intake manifold and the intake plenum, I kept them chrome, and painted the carburetors also gold. As I installed the hood scoop, I used the velocity stacks, and not the air cleaners. I wired the engine with red spark plug wires, and the exhaust collectors were painted aluminum, then, I dry brushed them with gold and clear blue, to give them a burn metal aspect. Finally, I blackwashed some areas of the engine, with Tamiya panel line accent color, to highlight the details. Then, I built the chassis, with all the components underside, assembled out of the box, without modifications, and I installed the previously built engine, as well as the wheels. All the main elements of the chassis were painted with gloss aluminum, TS-17 from Tamiya, but I painted the components with different colors to have some contrast, like the wheelie bars and the shock absorbers, painted with red, the drive shaft painted with magnesium, and the suspension components, from front and rear axles, painted with flat black. To finalize the chassis, I used the Tamiya panel line accent color black to highlight some details and weathered a little bit the aluminum areas with soot from the Tamiya weathering master B. The flat black parts were dry brushed with silver. After that, I built the interior of the car, and as I referred in the last video, for the interior I was more creative and made lots of changes. I decided not to use the seats that come with the kit, both front and rear. Instead, I used one aftermarket front seat with the appropriate racing seat belts, and without rear seats. Additionally, from my parts box, I also had a fire extinguisher, a tachometer installed on the top of the dashboard, and a steering wheel with a more sportive look. According to instruction manual, the battery should be installed inside the trunk, but it wouldn't be visible, because the trunk lid does not open. Therefore, I decided to add the wires and install it in the interior, on the back floor. For the red roll bar, I decided to use and adapt the one from my parts box as a base, and I add plastic bars from sprues to the front and to the back of the car interior. With the chassis and the interior both finished, it was time to take care of the car body. And this was the result. Before paint the body, I had to sand some mold lines, and then I painted it with black primer. As I already said, my choice for the body color was the candy lime green, TS52 from Tamiya. I wanted to decorate the car body with the kit decals, and I think with this color they will be visible quite well. The front and rear bumpers, as well as the frames on the bottom of both sides of the body, were painted black. I used metal foil for the trims around the windows, and I blackwashed the front grille, the louvers near the front window, as well as the panel lines of the doors, of the trunk lid, and the of the fuel tank cap, with Tamiya panel line accent color black. After the paint has cured well, I clear-coated the body with gloss varnish. I didn't install the side windows, as they were optional, and in this way, it will be easier to see the interior of the car. To give the wheels a more realistic look, first I drilled the holes inside the rims, then I clear-coated them with matte varnish, and I used the Tamiya panel line accent color black to highlight their interior details. The tires have been sanded to give them a more used and realistic look as well. I really enjoyed building this kit, I'm quite happy how it came out, and I hope you also like it. This was not a difficult model to build, as I built it almost out of the box. 
It was fun, because when building a Pro Street version, you have some freedom in the way you decide to build the kit, and as you can see, the main changes I made, were in the interior of the car. Stay tuned, because I also have some static photos of the kit at the end. It was a pleasure the first time I joined this group build, I like to watch the videos from the other participants, and I'm learning a lot. I'm looking forward to the 2023 Pro Street group build, and many thanks to Dylan for hosting this very nice event. Thanks to all my subscribers, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below with any question or feedback. See you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,